Welcome back everyone. Thanks for clicking on the video. Here today to discuss the Red Squirrel Bushcraft Adventure List Pack. And there's a squirrel in the background. <laughs> That's just great. I'd like to thank Wes and Amber over at RSBC for sending this out to me to test and review for them. It's a killer little pack. Let's take a closer look at it. This pack is Red Squirrel Bushcraft's flagship product, and for good reason. It's a 31 to 51 variable capacity bushcraft bug out bag. The reason I say variable is because of the detachable back pouch, as well as the expandable bottom, both of which we will take a closer look at here shortly. The pack itself is made of military grade 1000D tear and abrasion resistant material with a PVC back coating. Every strap on this pack is made of one inch gross grain webbing and they all come with a little Velcro system. So you can roll them up, Velcro them, and they're not dangling. That's a really neat little touch. All the zippers you'll find on the pack are number 10 YKK zippers. All function super smooth. You have a very thick and very comfortable waist belt, which is detachable. A little name card slot. A nice mesh backing to promote airflow. You have the option for a water bladder in this pack as well. A center hole here to feed the hose through. And then you can either have it coming out the left or the right side. Also included with the pack is a polyurethane backplate for support. I'm going to pop off this detachable pouch to show you what this pack's all about. The basic configuration of this pack without the attachments is 31 liters with your two 2.5 liter side pockets. The Moly attachments allow you to attach additional gear like I have done on this side with my water bottle pouch. This did not come with the pack. I added this on my own. Figured I may as well put it to use and this pack accommodates it perfectly. You also have the option of carrying an ax on either side. And once this is strapped on, it is secure and not going anywhere. On the bottom of the pack, you also have four webbing loops to attach additional bed rolls, sleep systems, you name it. As I mentioned, the bottom is expandable with a number 10 YKK zip again, 360 zip around, and then a zipper in the front. The drain holes make this a great place to store any of your wet clothing, your wet tarps, your wet rain gear, you name it. This large pocket will fit a lot. You also have moly webbing down the front of the strap along with the D-ring to attach any additional gear that you might need. The straps are adjustable both at the top and at the bottom and are fully removable. It's time to show you the inside of the pack. Again, nice smooth operating zippers, a nice large 31 liter compartment fit my sleep system perfectly. Everything else was in the pockets on the outside. I didn't have to actually go inside my main compartment until I got here. Besides the one main, besides the large 31 liter compartment on the inside, you have one mesh zippered pocket in the lid, has some attachment points, and this is holding my keys, my GoPro batteries, my wallet would be in there if I didn't leave it in the car, things that I don't want to lose. So as mentioned, this is covered in moldy attachment points. Even the waist belt is covered in them. It's a great place to hang your bear spray, your GPS. I really like having my bear spray on my hip there. That actually worked out very well for me. The three liter detachable pouch is such a cool feature with this pack. It can be done on the back like I had it. It can be used as a lid. You can have this as a side carry with a strap that comes with it and also as a chest carry. The things I'm carrying inside, the strap to make this a side carry, the attachment options to make this a chest mount, my headlamp, my Mora Eldris backup knife, the tent stakes for my poop kit, for lack of a better word, well, it's spelt on it, <laughs> my map, and my compass. This pouch is a great place to store items you want quick and easy access to. This is the included strap with the pouch to make it a side carry. 
simply click it on. Gives you a little foraging bag, or if you want to leave camp and just take your essentials with you. To make the detachable pouch a chest pack, you simply need to use the two plastic carabiners provided. You take your two plastic carabiners, attach them to your D-rings on your straps, and you attach them to the D-rings on your pouch. You then take the strap from the back, across your side, on both sides. Super functional, super versatile, and everything you need is right in front of you with an easy opening zipper and a lovely three liter pouch. The two things that come to mind with this chest pack configuration is fishing and hunting. This chest pack configuration opens up a world of convenience. It can easily hold your flies, your extra line, your pliers, your nippers. Hell, you could even hold a fillet knife in here. And for the hunters out there, this configuration will give you storage for your magazines, your scents, your calls, you name it. Your map, your compass, everything you need access to and need access to quick can be in this pouch. It also comes off just as easy as it went on. Detach. Detach, unbuckle, unbuckle, and you're into your pouch. This is my second outing with the RSBC Adventuralist Pack. I was very happy with it the first time for a bushcraft camp. Out with my hammock system this time, I'm even happier with this pack. And this pack held it all flawlessly. I'm very happy with what RSBC did with this. From the axe holders, the mole attachments, the detachable pouch, the expandable bottom. Quality and craftsmanship is all there. All well thought out, extremely versatile, extremely functional. This will suit your outdoor needs no matter what you're doing. I will leave some links in the description of this video directing you to Red Squirrel Bushcraft's website, Instagram, and Facebook page. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this pack. I sure am. I'm going to get back to my camp here and uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.